We are live. We are live inside the Moms and Heels group. What is going on, healers? Marina Simone here. I'm going to give it a minute for everyone to jump on. <sighs> and just a heads up and a warning. We all know how this works, right? We know that I run out of breath because of being pregnant. For those of you that don't know, I am now 12 weeks pregnant. Super stoked and excited to be with you guys and allowing you guys to be on this journey with me of working my business, working my brand, building my personal brand, building my network marketing business, being here for all of you, still being a mom, being a wife, growing a baby inside the belly and how the frig we handle all of this. Hello, what's going on? So what's up, Bernadette? Hey, Carly. Missy, how are you? Hey, Kaz. How you doing, mama? So excited. Carly Weber's on from Australia. What's up, love? We got Shalia. Is that how I say your name? Shalia. That's beautiful. Stacy, great to see you on. Casey Jade. Hey, hey. Great to have you. Melissa. Say, so give you guys some more shout outs. Heather, how are you, Heather? So great to see you on. Michelle Fedora. What's up, girlfriend? Tanya, hello. Marissa, oh, here comes the baby's burp. You guys gotta excuse me. Jennifer, what's up? Vanessa, how you doing? All right, do me a favor, as you guys jump on, let me know what time zone you are in, what country, what state. Let me know, drop it like it's hot so I can give you guys some shout outs. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. It's Monday. We are already in October 8th. Eight days of the freaking month is already gone. Like gone, you guys. Like you can't even start over, right? October 8th is here. So I want you guys to understand, like I'm really excited to kind of go through my simple process of recruiting. You know, one of the things that I think a lot of us have gone through, and I know I personally went through this, is that when I first got started in network marketing, I was so pumped and excited, right? Like I was, like it was literally like ignorance on fire, right? Ignorance on fire. I was so pumped. I was so excited, you know, and it was just like, it was easy for me to tell people about it and tell people, what's up, Blaze? So good to see you. It was easy for me to tell people about my product or my business because I hadn't faced rejection yet. But all of a sudden, rejection started to hit in. Like with the first 30 days, rejection started to hit me. And then what ended up happening was I legit started to have doubt that went into my mind. And then I stopped, excuse me, inviting people. I, start, I stopped inviting people to learn about my business and my product. How many of you have been there before where or can remember that feeling of when you first got started in your business, you were so stoked, you were so pumped, you were so excited to get your business going, get your business rolling, and then all of a sudden, what happens when you start hearing those no's or you start getting that rejection, all time after time after time again, you start to be like, why don't I, I don't wanna invite nobody anymore. Like I'm sick and tired of hearing no's. I'm tired of these people freaking turning me down. Why aren't they saying yes, these jerks, right? Like, I remember that feeling. And in fact, there's moments where you can still go through that, right? I'm sick of, Jeans says me, I just got sick of getting beat up and I said I need a break, right? Sometimes that happens. Where you're like, dude, I just want to recruit some people. And then what happens is, is that you recruit some people, like three, four people, and then those people do nothing and you're like, and this is what I did it for? Like, I have to go do this all over again? I have to go and start recruiting people? Like, hell to the no, right? Me in the comments, you're like, holy crap moly. You're like, I don't wanna deal with that. Well, listen, I'm excited because tonight, I'm gonna share a couple things with you and the simple process that keeps me in the right mindset to always be inviting always be inviting into my business because I know at the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that it's my own mindset. It's my own freaking brain that gets in the way of me finding success, right? So I want to help you guys kind of get through this simple process and look at this business in a completely different way that can change your life. But before I get into that, there's a couple of things. I wanna go over some announcements. First and foremost, if you have team members that are inside this Facebook group, 
that need to see this, you need to tag them, do at and their name right now in the comments section. At their name right now in the comments section. You can't share this outside of the group because they won't be able to see this. Unless you have people that are in this group, you could share it into your Facebook groups and they will be able to see it because they're inside the group. Or you can hit that share button and you can actually, I think, invite people now or into your chats. I'm not really sure. I just know that if they're not in the group and you share this, they won't be able to see it. So the best way is that if they are in the group to at their name, okay? That's the most important thing. And I will tell you that we need everyone to see this simple process that I'm gonna talk about. Because I think as humans, you know what we do? We freaking make things more complicated than they are, and we just get in our ways. Carly, I see you're tagging some people. Carrie Palazzo's tagging some people. Marissa's tagging their people. Anybody that you've added into this group, you wanna at and then their name. Jennifer, absolutely. Amy, I see you're on, welcome on. Okay, so Dominique, awesome. Vanessa, you're tagging people. Great, all right. So for those of you that are brand spanking new, you've never seen my face before, even though you're inside this amazing Facebook group, the Moms and Heels group, I wanna tell you a little bit about me, right? And maybe some of you don't even know my story. So for those of you that don't know, I'm 12 weeks pregnant, I have morning sickness from hell, and they all lie because there's no such thing as morning sickness, it's every day, barf your brains out, or feel like you're legit, like just bleh, every day. The only reason I look good is because there's a filter on and I put a crap load of makeup on for all of you today. Um, and I appreciate you all calling me gorgeous because it just makes my heart so happy. Um, I went today and I had 14 vials of blood freaking taken. Not one, not two, not three, but 14 today because in order for them to do a chromosome test and to do all the tests that they had to do that eventually just tells us that it's a boy or a girl as well, right? I know it's for a whole bunch of reasons, but that's really the main reason we all do this. They had to take 14 vials of blood. And let's be real, my arm, I still can barely feel it. They told me not to use this arm. Of course, I did not listen. However, what's really exciting is that baby is healthy, baby is perfect size, baby was a hot mess express inside the belly doing like somersaults, legs high up in the air, and I'm pretty sure the baby blew me a kiss. They wouldn't let me use my phone because you know I would have been insta storying and Facebook storying this whole freaking thing, right? So is the baby adorable? I'm sure it's bald like it's daddy and I'm pretty sure it's a boy. We don't know. I don't know if it's a boy. I just keep saying it's a boy. We're team boy over here. What do you guys think? Team boy, team girl, drop it in the comments. Team boy, team girl. My daughter is team girl. I know this has nothing to do with recruiting, but I wanna tell you a little bit about me. Um, what else? My firstborn is Anaya and she's eight years old. And when I first got started in network marketing, I was a single mom working full time, a full time job for a third party company for Amazon, making pennies. And I was working overtime at least three to four days a week. My daughter was probably a year old at the time. And I think like one of the biggest moments that I can remember was missing things in her life consistently over and over and over again because of work or because I couldn't be there or because she was at daycare or because she was with my now mother-in-law and I wasn't with her because I was working to pay the bills and I had to wake up at a certain time and I had to be you know at a job a certain time and my raise was legit than putting a whole nother computer on my desk I've posted this picture before where I had three computers at one time on my desk at a third-party company for Amazon I built that company from 3 million to over 40 million in 18 months and I still got paid salary and did not get a thank you and these were the moments in my life that made me say there has to be a better way there has to be something different because I am going to go crazy I went to college I got a four-year degree an accounting degree I'm missing moments in my in my daughter's life and I don't want her to know that my, her mom is never being home. And that's why I looked at network marketing. I remember a story that was told to me by, I was on a three-way phone call, and, and the guy that was on the other end of three-way phone call knew that I was a single mom, knew that I was struggling because they had legit heard my story 
when they were asking me these questions on a three-way phone call, there's a reason for me telling you this story. I want you to listen for key notes of this, okay? And he told me a story about a woman who was a single mom of three kids who legit was living out of her like mom's house with her three kids and legit had no car, like no money, whatever. And within 12 months of being in network marketing, she was making a six figure income and lived in a gorgeous home. Her kids were in private school and she was a single mom. And these were things that I was hearing when I was on the phone with him. I wasn't hearing how much money I was gonna make. I wasn't hearing um, all the facts about the products and facts about the company. I was listening to a story that I personally could relate to. So I hope you guys are listening to what I'm saying because some of these key points we're gonna go through tonight and this is going to be a very in-depth training. If you're excited and you're ready for me to bring the heat and bring some value, I want you to drop value in the comments below. If you're like, I'm ready, bring this. Um, I am not a single mom anymore. My daughter's father and I have been together, back together now since she was two years old. We live an amazing life. I became a six figure plus earner in the network marketing industry in 2014 when my daughter was two years old. So within a two year period of joining network marketing, um, I was able to retire. And I was not only able to retire, I'm able to help my family, I'm able to help my sisters with their baby girls, help my mom when she needs help and do so much more and give back to this amazing community and this amazing industry that we're in. And so I want you to think about the why. Think about why you said yes to network marketing right now. Like what is it that made you say yes? Because I can remember that moment on the phone, on that three-way phone call of why I said yes back in 2012. Why did I say yes? It was because I was sick and tired of missing things in my daughter's life. And that story that they had told me about this woman who I still follow on Facebook to this freaking day, her story inspired me and made me believe in myself that I could do it too. If she could do it with three kids, I could do it with one. So here we are now living a life of, I wake up obviously to take my daughter to school, but then I can come home and go back to sleep. I don't wake up to an alarm of a boss telling me what to do. I don't legit have to plan a vacation around taking days off. But that's all because I never gave up and I didn't let those freaking no's get to me. And I want each and every single one of you to understand right now that there is no reason whatsoever that every single one of you can't have a similar or better story than what I just told right there. We've all been through crap. We've all been through a past that, you know, makes us have no confidence or makes us believe that we can't do this. And I want every one of you to know right now that this, what I'm going to teach you on how I consistently recruit five to 10 reps a month has nothing to do with the amount of money I make, has nothing to do with my success in the industry. In fact, I don't even like bringing that up when I have conversations with people when I recruit them because most people cannot relate, okay? Most people cannot relate to the amount of money that I make. Because I can tell you right now, if that was flashed in my face on that three-way phone call, I probably would have been so freaking scared I would have ran the other way. I don't, I couldn't believe that this guy was making three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year off of a pyramid thingy. Like I couldn't do that. I want you to understand what I'm going to teach you has nothing to do with, oh, she has influence. That's why she does this. Most of the people that I'm recruiting don't even know who I am. They don't because of where I find people to recruit. Got it? All right. So let's get this party started. Who has the most excitement? Let me take a little sip here. No, this is not what's in your cup kind of wine thing. It's pink lemonade. It actually makes my tummy feel better. You would think it would be um, ginger ale, but that crap stopped working a while ago. Now it just tastes like Donkey Kong. But anyway, at the very end of this too, I'm going to announce we have one winner of the Heels Up Academy. One year free for the Heels Up Academy from the YouTube, for the YouTube challenge we had going on. And I have nine other people that won a free Zoom with me, a group Zoom. So stay, 
stay, what's in my solo cup, I love it. So stay here to the end, right? And believe me, you don't wanna miss this thing thing, okay? Don't forget at any time if you feel like you're getting some value, you know, you've learned something, like drop it in the comments below. I just wanna feel you guys as I'm doing this. Um, hopefully my Wi-Fi stays strong because it looks like it's freezing up a little bit. If that happens, I'll jump back on, hopefully not. So let's do this, right? Who has the most excitement when they first get started in their business? The newest person, right? The newest people that are coming into the business are gonna have the most excitement. Why is this thing freezing? Am I freezing for you guys? Marissa? Hold on guys, I feel like I'm freezing. Can't wait to hear what you have to teach us. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa, I feel like I'm freezing. Okay, the newest person, the newest person, the newbie, correct. The newest person, I'm not freezing, okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. The newest person has the most excitement. Okay, so um, if this gets really bad, Marissa, do me a favor and call Jason so then I can switch phones, because we might have to do that. The newest person has the most excitement and the most passion, and so the volume, okay, the volume, that comes in an organization is gonna be from the bottom up, okay? From the bottom up. So what does that mean? So let's say, so here's an example. I am a top income earner and I have an organization, right? So the organization, if I wanna drive 100,000 in volume, right, into my organization in the last week of the month, just giving you an example, am I gonna do that by my, Oops. By myself? Am I going to do that by myself? Heck no. I mean, maybe if I have like a million funnels going on and something crazy happens. No. I'm going to go to the... Hold on. Cookie, stop. I'm going to go... My dog is like going crazy. He's driving me nuts. Come here. So you're going to go to the very bottom and you're going to pour fuel on the fire to the very bottom of the organization where the newest people are the most excited to drive volume up. Why are they most excited? Well, remember in the very beginning, I talked about how when I first got started in network marketing, before I started hearing those no's, I was inviting so many people. I was inviting all these people to learn more, learn more, learn more, and then I started getting those no's. But it was okay, because I still was getting some yeses, so the no's didn't bother me too much. But then after a while, when you get through your warm and your hot market, all those no's start to really get to you. So where is the freaking most volume coming from the most excited people? So if it comes from the most excited people, and we usually call that ignorance on fire, which is phenomenal, by the way, nothing wrong with that, okay, before you learn a system, <clears throat> then what you want to do is figure out how you can keep that passion every single month here's the deal if you're gonna try to sell me this lipstick right here and you're like so excited about this freaking lipstick this lipstick is the bomb freaking diggity holy guacamole let me tell you about this lipstick and i'm gonna just be like look at how it looks on my lips look it's not coming off Oh my gosh, it's amazing, it's smooth. This is one of the best lipsticks I've ever seen. FYI, it's fake, it's not real, so no, you can't buy this lipstick, okay? But anyway, if I'm gonna tell you all about this freaking lipstick and be so pumped, you're probably gonna be curious on where I got the freaking lipstick. But then what happens if I'm not excited about the lipstick anymore because of all the no's that I got? Eventually, people are gonna stop being interested in my lipstick because why? Because if I'm not excited about the lipstick, why would they be excited about the lipstick? Is this making sense? If this is making sense, drop sense in the comments. You're like, oh my gosh, yeah. So it's sometimes it's legit that simple that your excitement is not authentic because you've lost confidence in your product or your business model. That's why you suck at recruiting. You've lost your mojo. We want to hashtag find our mojo. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So I want to help you guys find that mojo and gain that confidence back. And I keep freezing and it's driving me bonkers. Hopefully it's not freezing on your guys' side. So if the newest person has the excitement, we have to keep ourselves excited as the newest person. 
You know, when I used to not understand this and I used to think like people were like, like crazy in their business. I'm like, how can you legit? What's up, Summer? How can you legit in my mind? I was like, how can you be so freaking excited 10 years later about your business or your product? <laughs> like, that's fake, boo. And now that I'm like in this and I understand and I'm married to the process and I'm so freaking excited about this industry and network marketing, this is real. It's real excitement. So here's my thing. If you find your mojo and you find that simple process and you keep that passion and that excitement, I promise you that recruiting into your business is going to be easy peasy and you're going to tell yourself, I'm going to recruit six people this month or I'm going to recruit 12 or I'm going to recruit 30. Because if you find your mojo, if you find that simple process that works for you, if you find the way to connect to new people, have conversations, but have that excitement and passion you are going to be a recruiting rock star you won't be able to keep up i promise you okay so here's let's get focused for a minute let's get focused and let's say something that a lot of times i hated to hear anytime i teach i teach from experience just so you know this i teach from a place of holy crap that used to irk me when my mentor said that to me and then I like to break it down a little bit on, oh, that makes sense now. I had aha moments and haha, I became a six-figure earner because I listened to my mentor. <laughs> Just so you know, okay? So let's talk about marrying the process, okay? Let's get focused here. So, oh, no, let's get focused and launch new lines. How about that? You want your business to grow? Go launch new lines. My mentor says this all the time. Go launch new lines. What does that mean? It means if your team's sucking right now, that's because you suck. If they ain't recruiting, it's because you ain't recruiting. Okay? Like, it's legit that simple. You want to build a network marketing masterpiece empire? You always have to be recruiting. Recruiting doesn't stop. Now, someone said to me the other day, how do we never stop? Is this really beach money? Is it really leveraged income? Here's my answer. Just because I recruit people does not mean that it makes me work an eight hour day in my network marketing business. If I recruit 30 people or if I recruit 12, I will work the same amount of hours every single week in my business. Why? Because the system does the work for me. Do you understand that? The system does the work for me. Now, do I spend extra time with those people? Getting them launched, getting them trained? Absolutely, absolutely. freaking lutely But what I want you to understand is if you're not launching new lines, you're not enrolling new people, and you think with what you have right now, you're gonna get to a multiple six-figure income, you are confused. Now, are there those lucky people that get there? Absolutely, but let them, let's see if something ever happens and that business crumbles, if they're ever able to go launch a new network marketing company on their own. It's a big negative, Ghost Rider. Big negative, okay? So let's get focused, launch new lines, and talk about the process. And just so you guys know, those questions that you guys asked me, I have some answers. So when I posted and I said, what are those things that, you're, that, that are bothering you? What are those things that are really hurting you from recruiting into your business? I have, those six, I have six questions that I chose from there that I'm gonna go over, okay? So stay with me here. I got some couple things for you guys. So we're gonna talk about the process. We're gonna talk about the process, okay? My process is very simple. Some people agree with it, some people don't. Some people are like, okay, it's awesome. Some people are like, it doesn't work for me. Some people just like to go cold market message and just go message thousands and thousands of people and hope some people stick, okay? Here's what I want you to know. I am an introvert. I like to recruit people when they're ready, not when I feel like I forced them to. So I figured out a way with a simple process of how to make so many relationships and build such a big influence on those relationships and be a resource with those relationships that when I ask them if they're ready to take a look, they're ready to take a look. And I'm not playing the cat and mouse game because I know they're ready and I don't run out of people to talk to ever and I don't feel like I'm being pushy I don't feel like I'm being salesy and I don't feel like I'm one of those annoying car salesmen who's always tricking someone into enrolling at the end of the month. That is not how I roll. 
So this simple process I'm gonna share with you guys is what helps me recruit like a rock star, okay? So marry this simple process. Number one is complimenting. I look for any which way that I can on social media, in person, in the line, checkout line. I don't care if I'm gonna recruit somebody or not. I'm always looking for ways that I can compliment. Because if I'm complimenting people every single day, everywhere I go, I'm putting out the energy of one, keeping me in a positive place, two, it's gonna keep my excitement high, three, it's gonna make me feel like I'm giving someone something they might not be getting, and the last thing is, it just makes sense to compliment people. People aren't getting it on an everyday basis. So every day I'm looking for ways, how can I compliment Jane, John, Jim, or the guy at KFC that gave me my freaking chicken little today, make him feel good. You never know when you're gonna run back into people, you never know when you're gonna see people, you never know. I wanna be known as the girl that gave a really nice compliment that maybe they never got before. It's gonna help me stand out, right? So that's number one. Number two, I always find a way to connect. How can I connect? How many of you connected with the story I told you of why I chose network marketing? Drop connect in the comments. If you're like, holy crap, yes, dude. I, I connected with you. When you told me about missing things in your daughter's life, when you told me about the way you feel or the way you felt when you first came into this business and you were like on fire and then all of a sudden you were like scared to talk to people about the business or the product because you lost your confidence. How many of you related? Drop relate in the comments, right? I find a way to connect and relate to people. Because here's the thing, if I can relate to someone and if I can turn around and tell them a story like the guy on the three-way phone call did to me, told me a story about a woman that I could relate to, you never know when you're gonna build influence in that moment. So when you're ready to do the next thing, which is exposed, you've built influence, you became a resource and they automatically trust you. So now you don't sound like a freaking creepy salesperson trying to make a buck off of them. How many of you are like, holy crap, light bulb moment, drop me a light bulb emoji or drop the word light bulb in the comments below. If you're like, whoa, this is making complete sense. Why am I making this so freaking difficult, right? So I want you to think about complimenting, connecting, right? Find a way to relate to these people. And the third thing is expose. Once you've found a pain point, once you know what it is that they struggle with, you know, when you share your story with someone, when you're like, OMG, I missed X, Y, and Z in my daughter's life, that's why I'm doing X, Y, and Z, people are gonna ask you what you do for a living. It's easy to drop on there, hey, this is what I do. For those of you that don't have my invite scripts, don't you worry your little face off, we'll make sure that you get some of those, we'll pin them to the top of this group at the end of this. Okay, so you can get them, the blog that I did. In fact, actually, you can just go to www.momsandheels.com forward slash, I think it's nine download. Pretty sure, Marissa will drop it in the comments of whatever blog that is, of where you can get my invite scripts. And at that point, once I've connected them and I found a pain point, then I'm gonna expose them. I'm gonna ask them, listen, you shared with me X. This is your pain point. I can relate to that because I went through X, right? This may or may not be for you, but this is what I'm doing and I think you'd be great at it. Are you open to taking a look? That's it. And I think for so long, we all just make these stories up in our head that we're, we're a greasy, we're selling snake oil. We're not. We have something people need in this amazing industry. This industry has changed my life. I feel guilty if I don't share it with other people. The next is asking if they're ready to get started. You've exposed them. You've given them the information. They've seen your presentation. You've got them on a three-way call or a three-way chat. Now it's just time to ask, are you ready to get started? If they say no, say why? From one to 10, where are you at? 10, I wanna do this, one, not so much, right? Ask them that question, find out where they're at. Because then you're not going to play the cat and mouse game. You find out where, the, where they're at. And the next is the follow-up. You're simply going to follow up with these humans until they tell you not to anymore. I've been in three companies in my network marketing career. And all three companies, it legit, oh, seven download, there you go. 
In all three companies, it legit took my sponsors six to 12 times before I said yes. I'm not even lying to you right now. It took them six to 12 times before I said yes. Do you think that they felt like they were bugaboos trying to get me into their business? No, they're freaking happy as a pig and you know what? They're like, I got Marita Simone. So why would you feel that way? What if that next person that you're complimenting, connecting to, exposing and following up with is the next Marina Simone? Then what? Right? Cynthia says, I said no three times. And look at her, right? Follow up is key. Every recruit I get takes several times before they say yes. Always, why? Because just like sometimes we lose confidence, they don't believe they can do it. You have to tell stories in order for them to relate. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about urgency. One of the things that I believe holds a lot of people back from enrolling into the business, excuse me, sorry, I'm just going to keep blaming it on the baby, is urgency. Think about it. At the end of the month, do you ever see the last five, four days of the month, teams go nuts. They go crazy. I mean, you guys, at one point, in my network marketing career, the last four days of the month, one time I think we put in like, I don't know, close to like 180,000 in volume. The last, I think it was like the last week of the month. And that was honestly half of the volume that we had put in the month, the whole month before that. And the last week of the month, we threw in another 180,000 in volume. And that was only in our nine levels. And that made me think in that moment, this was back in 2014, and it made me think in that moment like, why was cookie stop? Why were we able to do that? And it was because of the urgency that was created in the business. It was the urgency and the momentum that was created by the excitement that we had running for some freaking incentive. Then I thought about like everyone was focused in that last five days of the month, right? Because they're focused on getting rank, getting rank, requalifying, hitting a new promotion, hitting a new cash bonus, being able to walk on stage for an event, right? Which is awesome. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But then I think about like, what if we had that urgency or if you worked your business like that every single day of the month, what would that look like? How exciting would that be for your business? What if it was just a third of the month? What if it was half of the month? How freaking crazy would that be? And it's because of the urgency that we have in the end of the month that we need to have every single day. It's that excitement and that passion that gets prospects to say yes. That's what it is. You are legit transferring your belief of the company the products, the leadership, and the system onto your prospect. So I want to ask you a question. If you had a daily method of operation, if you had accountability, if you had someone pushing you every single day for 30 days, do you feel like you could legit double your recruits or triple your recruits from October 15th to November 15th. Yes or yes, drop it in the comments. If you're interested in that kind of accountability, put interested in the comments below because here's what I wanna to explain to you. Urgency does not come from like, just like a quick fix. Urgency comes from the belief that's built within you, in yourself, in your company, in your products, and in the system that you have. You know, I think what's really interesting too is like when somebody switches companies, they're really, really excited about that new company and they're so freaking quick to recruit people. And then all of a sudden what happens, they start getting those no's again. And then the same thing happens to them in the new company that happened to them in the last company, right? Well, check this out. What if you were so excited about your process that you weren't attached to what the results were because you couldn't keep up with the amount of conversations you were having and the amount of people that you were exposing 
and the amount of people you had to follow up with? What if every single day there was a daily action that you would follow and you were told what to do for 30 days straight? Do you think that would make a difference in your business? Put interested in the comments below. I want you to understand that sometimes it takes not only a crap load of reading, a bunch of courses that you have to take, but sometimes it takes a stiletto in your hiney. It takes your hair to be on fire in order for you to get to where you need to be. If you feel like you got some value from this, I want you to tell me value from one to 10 below where your value's at from this training so far. One to 10, tell me below. So here's what I'll tell you. With urgency, excitement, with passion, with a daily method of operation, you marry the process. You're connecting, exposing, you're following up with people. Wash, rinse, repeat. You stop second guessing yourself. You build that confidence within yourself and you just go ham for 30 days. I can almost guarantee you, your results will double or triple. Why? Not because of something I'm telling you, it's because I know it. Every time I run this sort of challenge for any of my big mastermind groups, they all have light bulb moments of like, oh, yes. If only I would have done that and I continue to do that and I stay committed, I can see my business changing, right? So, so here's what I want. What if <clears throat> there was a 30-day workshop on the art of recruiting from social media, from Instagram and from Facebook? What if there was a 30 day, and I still feel like I'm freezing, hopefully I'm not. What if there was a 30 day workshop that taught you daily how to create a positive daily method of operation and every single day taught you exactly what to do? Like every day, what I'm doing to recruit into my business, there's gonna be a video every day posted into the Facebook group with a daily action step telling you exactly what to do for 30 days straight. You're also gonna receive trainings on how to develop a recruiting mindset, how to make new friends online, how to develop a positive daily method of operation, how to draw out pain points in people. Yes, my 333 training, it's, it's, not, like, it's not exactly like that. It's a, that's a piece of what I do. But yes, I still do that, absolutely. But on Instagram, it's a little bit different how we use Instagram stories. So there's gonna be a daily method of operation with Instagram as, as well. But here's the cool part, how to follow up without being creepy. There's PDFs, like legit, we already have stuff that's loaded in the back office of PDFs and there's gonna be tutorials. Everybody that has joined any of my masterminds has joined my Heels Up Academy or anything I have ever done knows that I overgive value. I do this for a reason. We have been working really hard on this. Um, hopefully my voice isn't completely gone because I'm finishing up the videos for the 30 days. But every day at 8 a.m. there will be a video that will be uploaded that's a training. Once a week there's gonna be a live training there's gonna be a launch Zoom and there's gonna be pop-up trainings as well. But check this out, all on the art of recruiting. It's a 30-day workshop. But check this out, you guys. Something that I was like, Jason, I wanna do something really big for the person who recruits the most people. So what we're doing, well, hold on, let me just ask. How many of you would like to win $500 cash for me? Drop $500 cash in the comments below. $500 cash. Tell me right now, how many of you want to win $500 cash? Just drop $500 in the comments below. Because what we're going to do is there's going to be the person who recruits the most people in those 30 days, customers and distributors, is going to win $500 cash from me. Yeah, $500 cash. So if we have 100 people that join this 30-day workshop, we're going to bump it up to 1,000. So if we have 100 people that join our workshop, we're gonna bump it up to $1,000 cash. Yes, you heard me right. You guys were like, what? Are you kidding me? No, how exciting, right? 
There's gonna be swag. There's gonna be challenges. There's gonna be a whole bunch of crap that we do during this 30 days. It's gonna be so much fun. And I am so pumped for this. So here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna get homework every day. There'll be a secret Facebook group. There's gonna be a back office. And we're not taking more than 100 people. If 100 people join, it'll be $1,000 that we give away to the, to, in, in the recruiting for the challenges, or it'll be 500 if we have 50 or more, okay? So here's how it works. We're going to, the, the link is recruit, R-E-C-R-U-I-T dot momsandheels.com. So if you guys can drop that in the comments for me, recruit dot momsandheels.com. So I'll say it one more time. Sorry about that, guys. It just dropped me. So it's recruit dot momsandheels.com. And you guys can drop that in the comments for me. That is the link where you can grab your seat. So it is less than $400 for the 30 days. It is $347. It is a one-time payment. And you're gonna have legit value of over, I mean, you're getting like 30 hours of my time almost basically in this, okay? So there you go, Marissa just dropped that into the comment. So if you guys wanna join this, remember we're giving away $500 cash to the top recruiter. Every single day, I'm going to have daily action steps of what you are going to do. There will be homework assignments, there's PDFs, there's four live trainings, there's a launch Zoom on October 15th. That's when this starts, is October 15th. Yes, PayPal credit is available as well. So October 15th is when we are starting this, and it's going to go until November 15th. So we are going on a recruiting spree for those 30 days. So recruit.momsandheels.com. We are only taking 100 spots. It's $347. We started October 15th. Some of you have already been added into the secret Facebook group for those of you that already claimed your seat. Um, it's first come, first serve. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't want to take more than 100 people. You know, we, we were like, oh, do we even want to do more than 50? This is going to be a very hands-on training so for 30 days it's going to be very intense recruiting workshop so what else did i have to say to you guys there was something else daily method of operation oh i'm going to go into the instagram process of having more conversations in the dms more conversations in the facebook messenger the process of joining new facebook groups and what to do in those facebook groups to catch more attention and to become an influencer so Marissa, drop the um, thing for them one more time, what that link is. I'm also going to put it at the top of this live video and the other one. You can share that link with your teams as well if you want your teams to be a part of it or get them in and tag them on these two videos. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay, the winners. Oh wait, I have questions. Let me go over these questions really quickly because I, I wanted to answer these questions from you guys that I have right here. So Marie asked, how to reel people in when they're on the fence. This is something important that I'm gonna be going over inside this 30 day workshop. It's storytelling. If someone's on the fence, you haven't inspired them enough to say yes yet. And that's our job. It's just like I told you guys in the beginning when I was telling my story, the workshop is replays. You can watch the replays. You have access, lifetime access to all this information. So you can watch them over and over and over again as well. So if you miss it live, you have all the replays. You have a back office and the secret Facebook group. Um, so like if you have someone that's on the fence and you'd expose them and they're like super excited and all of a sudden they go crickets, it's because you didn't have enough urgency. Okay, it's $347 for the 30 day one time, one -time payment. $347 for the one-time payment for the 30-day recruiting workshop. Um, so if they're on the fence, you just haven't told enough stories to inspire them. You haven't asked them why, what's holding them back. You haven't leveraged their pain point enough. Storytelling is something we're really going to focus on inside the workshop. Megan Cooper asks, um, how do I make new contacts daily? Um, this is something that we're so focused on inside the 30-day workshop. But if you are not following my SOS tracker, you need to be following it. If you don't have it and you're like, what is that? It's the daily method of operation on, on Facebook of what I do to make connections every single day. You can go to SOSTracker.com.
www.momsandheels.com to grab that free download. Number three, Paula Rule says, when I don't want to feel pushy or gross, like I don't want to feel gross, pushy, or feel like a salesperson when I'm trying to recruit people, how do I avoid that? And Paula, what I want to tell you there is that is your mindset. You legit have a mindset that unfortunately is just not having the right belief inside of you to keep rocking out this business. So we've got to work on your mindset, which is awesome. That's another thing we're doing inside the workshop. Um, Aaron Crone says, exposing someone to the opportunity who's never seen network marketing before, but is in, also young, so they really don't understand the opportunity. This is where your system comes in. Your system and process should be the same for everyone. It should not change. The same video should be shown. The same stuff, because at the end of the day, something that Ray Higdon always says is that you sell the thing that sells the thing. If a four-year-old can do it and a 90-year-old can't do it, then how is anyone gonna do it? You wanna make sure that you, oh, awesome, Paula, I decided that you were on. You wanna make sure that the business system, the system of exposure, is something that anyone can do. It's the same process. The only thing that changes are the stories that they can relate to, which we're really gonna go over inside the workshop. Tammy Williams asks, I've been, how do I avoid word vomit? You wanna be the messenger and not the message. And I get it, when we're so excited and we get this opportunity and we've made a couple hundred bucks or made even a thousand bucks and put a comma in our check, we're like, listen, like you legit need to do this. And then you're like, blah, 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 blah. It goes back to the process. You can have excitement and passion in your voice and use the clips, the voice messenger clip in Messenger. You wanna make sure that you're pointing to the tool. Let the tools do the work for you. That was something that I really had a hard time and I used to struggle with, right? Um, and the last one is Heather Delaney. Um, how do I not blow it once they've seen the info? And it's kind of the same thing. Like. You have to have a positive daily method of operation where you're plugging everyone in to the same system, the same process, the same invite, the same expose, the same close method. Your only thing that ever changes are the stories that you're telling so the person can relate to it. So I'm excited for this 30 day workshop. I'm so sorry that this got closed off. I'm gonna post the winners on Marina Simone page so you can see if you're a winner, Marissa will reach out to you. But the winner of the one year free of the Heels Up Academy is Victoria Kennan Webb. Congratulations, you won one year free in the Heels Up Academy. Marissa will be reaching out to you. Remember, if you are ready to enter this challenge to win $500 cash and join the recruiting workshop, it's a 30 day art of recruiting workshop, go ahead, go to the link recruit.momsandheels.com and we will get you into the group. It starts October 15th. It's one-time payment of $347. I'm excited to see you guys in there because we're gonna be working our tushies off. So again, sorry about the videos. We're gonna try to put them together so this way we can have one video for everybody to watch. So bye.